Hi Tarot Tribe, it's Ethany and I want to talk about tarot scam artists and how to spot that stinky bullshit from a mile away. So I posted a tarot PSA a few weeks ago on my Facebook page and on my wall and there was so much response from my fellow readers and my friends and my colleagues and also from people who've had this shit happen to them. So I wanted to uh, chat about this um, as so many of our tarot community members have had experiences that have mirrored my own with their clients, friends and family who've all been preyed on by scam artists who use the tarot and complementary um, tools and divining uh, to prey on people. So I've spoken for years now and this channel has been going for a while and I've had my blog for a number of years. Um, so I've spoken a lot about what I believe the tarot can and cannot do and what kind of tarot reader and professional I am. So I am jumping right into some of the more shadier aspects of our profession. Uh, I do realize that this is a topic that is not all love and light. Um, I fucking love the tarot. I am honored every time someone opens up to me in a reading. I take that seriously and I believe it is a privilege. I have been reading for a long time. The tarot has now been in my life longer than it hasn't. So to hear that this stuff still happens makes me get a little she-hulk like. It is infuriating. Um, as a professional. I have lost count at how many clients over the years have come to me and told me some truly horrific things that tarot readers, psychics, mediums, palm readers and diviners of all kinds have told them in the name of scamming them or trying to scam them out of their money and or co-creating codependency on their services and this also runs rampant in other communities uh, I know this and it runs rampant in coaching communities for example so I know that it's not isolated to the tarot but being a tarot reader being a tarot professional being a business mentor and a teacher at a, at a tarot <laughs> at the tarot readers academy I'm coming at it from this perspective so before I continue and talk about the ways in which you can tell whether you're being scammed, I want to acknowledge and tell you that I know that there are con people in every profession. I know that you do not need to be um, a tarot reader to con people. I know that just because you are a tarot reader doesn't mean you're conning people. I know that there are shitty people out there. I know that there are people who pray um, on people in pain and fear that give us tarot professionals and the tarot as a profession a bad name and every time <laughs> I say something like that I see Bon Jovi and I'm sure I'm not alone in that. I know that so many professionals use professionals and professions use the psychology of pain points to sell everything and anything and if you haven't seen I think it's a last week tonight video like I'm so liberal um, on college um, colleges and how they use pain points to sell uh, play, like to, to get people to, to sign up for life engrossing debt and crushing debt then go and watch that um, so it's you know every profession uses pain points especially in marketing it's pretty crummy um, if they if people do that I know that it is seen in all cultures and religions I am not bashing anyone's religion or culture because being an asshole is not exclusive to one religion or culture. Lucky us. Um, I know as well that there are cultures where magic, hexing and cursing is a very real practice and belief. As in not just a few people believing that things like that can happen to you, but it is culturally accepted that this is what can happen to you. Um, I have seen this with my own eyeballs. Uh, I'm also not trying to invalidate cultural importance 
of mystical practices. I'm not here to do that either. That would be hypocritical of me anyway. I'm talking about people who are in a position of power and influencing it to, um, sorry, power and influence and using it to scare people and take their money, belongings and power. I'm talking about scam artists using tarot as their way of scamming people. So, oh my gosh, hay fever this year is killing me. Uh, so how do you know if your tarot reader or any psychic or diviner is scamming you? So here are some examples. If your tarot reader says you have a curse or a hex on you, that they will, oh my gosh, lovingly, thankfully you walked in because they are the one person who can remove it for you for a fee. And usually it's in the hundreds of dollars that you that you may have to come back for more than once. It's usually that you have to come back more than once. Um, this also includes giving them jewelry for curse removal or, um, or money. I've even seen that. This is a scam. You are being scammed. Um, do not even get me started on the piece of shit readers who tell people their children are cursed. That is below low and unfortunately does happen. Talk about the worst type of manipulation going after someone's kids. Shame. If your tarot reader tries to sell you expensive candles, creams, statues, evil eyes and spiritual trinkets because they say you are in danger, this is a scam. And again, I'm not talking about, and I mentioned this again in the post in the video, I'm not talking about people who make spell kits or hand pour intention candles. I'm talking about people who are trying to get you to buy expensive shit because you are cursed. That is a scam. Um, if you are, if your tarot reader claims they can make someone fall in love with you, scam. Also, they are not a Disney cartoon villain. Really. I had some interesting comments on that point on my Facebook page. And I will probably have to do a video around love spells because, oi, anyway, um, if your tarot reader says you need a number of expensive sessions with them or you will never find love or success or happiness or whatever it is, scam, 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 scam. If your tarot reader says they have some mystical special gift that no other motherfucker on the planet does and that they alone can help you, scam. If any reader, any psychic, any coach, any person in that kind of position of power that you've probably gone to for some guidance is trying to fear monger you or prey on your fears, that is not cool and you are probably going to try, they're probably going to try and scam you. If they try to get huge amounts of money out of you for curses, hex, spells, etc., they are full of shit. Um, as I mentioned, I'm not talking about people who have Etsy stores for homemade stuff like that. Um, that's not what I'm talking about. There is a difference to that. Uh, I hope you know what those differences are. I personally, as a person who receives tarot readings as well, have been told this shit before. I've had people try to persuade me to hand over my power to them. I have simply thanked them for their time and walked away. I'm a pretty fucking confident person, if you haven't guessed. So this kind of shit doesn't really work on me. Um, but I do realize that not everyone has <laughs> that kind of uh, confidence with interacting with people. So if you ever find yourself in a position where you have someone say something like this to you, Remember, you are in a conversation. You have permission to end that conversation and leave. If you feel trapped, and I've had clients tell me that they felt trapped and didn't know how to leave, just pretend you get an urgent text, pick up your phone, call a friend while walking out and don't come back. Um, I don't my sound a little bit rude to like escape it um, out that way or ghost it out that way. But you, if you're uncomfortable and feeling like you are being manipulated then you have permission to exit stage left 
What we can do in the tarot community, I believe, is speak about this stuff. Let people know that this is not what most of us do. Is to, you know, we should stay in our integrity to be professionals, um, to be the good (laughs) examples of our profession. We can support our fellow readers that we know are good people and wonderful professionals. And there are so many of us who are amazing, wonderful professionals. And you can often find that those people are transparent. Um, Those people will answer your questions. Uh, They stand for something. They will have their ethics, their code of honor on their web page. They will have good reviews. They will have good rapport in the industry. So that's what we can do. We can keep being the wonderful people that we are for those of us who are doing the work. We can do what we can to reassure people who come to us after having one of these horrid experiences and do what I believe we are do here what we are here to do, which is help people. And I've seen comments on my thread. I've had it from my friends. These are people who've known me for so like over half of my life who are afraid of the tarot still because of this shit that happens. So it is very, very real. So we can just stay being amazing, talk about it um, and, you know, do what we can to kind of turn the tide uh, in the favor of ethical tarot readers everywhere. Um, And I also want to acknowledge that I'm not the first person in our community to speak about this. Dreadlock Tarot has, um, the tarot lady has, um, there's a couple more that I can't remember off the top of my head over the years. People have spoken about this. But I did want to add my voice and continue the conversation because it was such a sparked conversation um, on my Facebook uh, page and in the uh, Facebook group for the Tarot Academy. Um, it seemed like it was it was a lot more common than I necessarily thought it was still. So please empower yourself. Do some research about um, readers if you are going to one. Um, Make sure you know that you can end the conversation and that you have a choice um, and that we are not all like that. And if you feel like you're being scammed, walk away. Uh, Thank you so much for watching. Man, even if this helped one person navigate out of a conversation like that with someone, um, it was worth it. And the transcription to this video is over at ethony.com. And yeah, thank you for watching.